Welcome to SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com. Are you looking for that special snuggle bun to cuddle up to and keep you warm on cold Arctic nights? Then let me and my love computer find the perfect match for you. We have hundreds of eligible eager members. And my 100% patented compatibility program uh, inside this here love computer is the only surefire way to find the perfect someone for you. <laughs> This is what we in the computer business call a systems crash. Now you listen here, you little high-tech glitch. I feel a love bump coming for sure. I get your point. But I am the professional matchmaker and computer programmer hereabouts. Me and my love computer will determine who is right for you, little fella. Once you pay your $500 membership fee. Hmm. I guess it's true what they say. Love waits for no man. Now, now, little fella. She may not be your perfect match. And you can't let your heart go getting involved in, well, matters of the heart. A cyber high to you, Chilly Lily. Trust me. My love computer is working night and day to select the perfect match for you. But don't you worry your little heart, miss. Smedley, the love doctor, will not rest until he has found your soulmate. This is SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com. Logging off. And now it's time for you to take Smedley's patented compatibility test. Yup, me and my love computer had no trouble selecting the ideal match for you, little feller. According to my profile, she is warm to cuddle with, has a big heart, and a hearty appetite. Who is it? It's the mechanic of love from SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com, ma'am. Here with a dream date that is sure to create fireworks of plenty. Meet a more. <laughs> If you love something, let it go. And if it comes back and blows up in your face, it's a penguin, all right. <laughs> As president of this here cyber match establishment, I will not rest until the perfect match has been matched. Me and my love computer have selected a new date for you, Penguin. She loves deep sea diving, haute couture fashions, and is not afraid to express her deep ocean emotions. La, 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 la. Oh, come here, you adorable penguin, you. Come to Mama. <laughs> Yeah, nothing like a satisfied love connection. Hey, what are you? Oh, come back, my little love muffin. You and your lousy dating service. Love is like a rose, mostly thorny and full of owls. And that was definitely an owl. That does it. I've had enough of these two incompatibles trying to thwart me and my all-knowing love computer. For 
very own. Good. I'm going to deprogram your internal love computer. There are hundreds of applicants you can choose from, and my compatibility computer says she is not the one for you. Your resistance is wearing down. Select the perfect date, and Smedley, the love mechanic, will hook you up. Monitor one, seven, 22, nine, four. Hold on one puppy loving minute. Huh? Heartbreaker, you! Come back here, you penguin-sized Romeo and Juliet! Oh, now there's the kind of man who can comb the hair on my back any day! The love doctor's in, and I want the first appointment! Well, I guess it's true what my mama always said after all. Don't even try to fight love, cause then it'll beat you every time. What have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? <laughs> Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my pot chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming hors d'oeuvre in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spazzerin. No delicious banana nut bread. And no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh. <laughs> you destroy my element of surprise! <laughs> How humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> Out of my way, you 
pilfering pigsqueak? Positively capital. solution. Now oh, you listen here, you router beggar rubber, you <laughs> you horseradish highwayman! I demand my fair share of the spoils. <gasps> Oh, dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. I must endure. And now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on channel one and ends on channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over.
Captain, I am inspecting in eagle eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> You know, some itches they just don't have a cream for. to deckhand? But, Captain, sir! Mm. Now listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> ah! And that critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Demoted to pool boy? But Captain, sir! Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? Oh, no, you don't, you freeloading feed bag. Demotion? The waiter? Now hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy? I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a fireworks spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I'm being demoted to anchor. Howdy, partner. I ask you, is there anything better in the taste of delicious barbecue ribs? Especially when they're slathered with my thick, tangy, homey, homestyle barbecue rib sauce. <clears throat> Once you've tried it, you'll never want to be without it. <clears throat> For 
barbecue that ain't phony. It's got to be homey. At ease, Sergeant Hogwash. General Oxford is on his way down from Texas. His boys are gonna do some top secret Antarctic core ice trading. Oxford has promised his boys a Texas-style barbecue before they start. You know what we say in the Corps, Sergeant. An army marches on its stomach. Yes, sir, they do, sir. Painful as that sounds, sir. That airdrop contains all the Texas barbecue fixins you'll need. Carry on. Now this here's a barbecue! Mess for a Texas battalion can't be a teeny weeny roast. It calls for a full scale Texas style grill. Now I'll tell you what, that there beef is still on the hoof. As you were, penguin. <laughs> Just wouldn't be a barbecue without Mama Hogwatcher's famous country coleslaw recipe. Cleanses the palate, don't you know? Oh, you frosty little freeloader! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> yeah. Hot diggity dog! The flight simulator unit will make the perfect mix in bowl. And everybody knows that the key to any great barbecue is in the sauce. And my super secret recipe would make 50 miles of Texas desert taste good. Yes, sir, come on. Ten Hart! Insubordination will not be tolerated, especially from an Step out of line again, and I'll bust you down to a scallion. Company, stand by to me. with that side of beef and toe. Gotcha! And you are now clear for launch, little soldier. Mama Hogwash used to say, a barbecue without beans is like a barbecue without beans. Oh, 
Not ready. Well, then who did that? Huh? Texas size shish kebabs. Hmm. Now that's army ingenuity. At ease, little recruit. Why don't you join me at my picnic table? But, sir, he's no recruit. He's a penguin. Zip it, soldier. You're going to be peeling potatoes for the next year for leaving this barbecue to a subordinate. <laughs> He's no subordinate. He, he's a penguin. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This barbecue's the best I've ever tasted. You've got real potential, soldier. How'd you like to run the officer's mess from now on? <laughs> <laughs> 